It's been five years since I started making YouTube videos and we've now reached 50,000 subscribers. It's been a long road to come this far. No doubt it's because of my see at these videos and I find it interesting for me to go back and watch that first SOT video just to see how much I've evolved as a pirate. And not to mention since I started streaming that's the bug I'm talking about right there. And obviously thanks to you guys' attention, we've been honored to play with the developers, which was a pretty damn cool experience. Do you have the island title cards as you come to an island? Yes. Those cover up your the, health and health. Yeah, yeah, that's something. You know bad. about this. Yeah, we know, <laughs> we know about this and it's definitely it's on the feedback list. It's like something that we are, we are definitely aware of. And during my first official stream, the voice actor for the Great Mighty Pooh from Conker's Bad Fur Day, I am the Great Mighty Pooh, sung the song while watching our stream. I am the Great Mighty Pooh. How awesome is that? 50 thousand subscribers. I had this idea a while back that since the channel name is Absolute Pixel, I would measure all the subscriber milestones in popular handheld devices based on how big of a resolution their screen had. The first one would be the Game Boy, which has 23,040 pixels. You pass that. Then the Game Boy Advance would come after that, which has 38,400 pixels. Pass that one as well. The closest pixel count we are to a popular handheld device is the original Nintendo DS, which has 49,000 152 pixels on one of the screens. So that's where we are right now on half a Nintendo DS and that's pretty amazing and of course I would like to thank each and every single one of you. Thank you. What? Halo is a PC? Come on baby. Halo Reach. Nice. There's a pro tip. You try and back up the Warthog into this elevator rank. You bring it with you. Look at it go. Nope. Nope. Oh, hold on. Nope, didn't work. Did you know there was a space level in Halo Reach? Didn't think so. Wonder what happens if you jump into propel. Will you die? Yes, you will. Okay, so this time you go forward in and then click the elevator. Don't back it up because it's okay. Okay, there we go. Have you ever splattered someone legendary? There you go. Here's the tutorial. Okay. No, no, that's fine. Oh, uh, why don't you throw two plasmas? Two plasmas, throw two plasmas on it. One wasn't enough. That doesn't matter because the truck is the best weapon in this game. Let me just go. Oh no. Oh, nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. Okay. Doesn't work. All in all, Halo Reach on PC gets a solid 10 out of 10. Is that a new Half Life game? That's a new Half Life game. In very true all reality. Yes, please. Thank you. Yo, is that the new Xbox? Oh, it is. That's how it's gonna look. That looks slick. I like the way that one looks. What's the name? The name? Oh. That, that's the name. I hope it's not too late for a name change. I got some suggestions for you, Microsoft. Xbox Ultimate, Xbox Ultra, or Xbox Scarlet. Because that code name was pretty sweet. You better at code names than naming your goddamn consoles. I also played some Bone Works, you know, the revolutionary VR game, where I was surprised to find out that you could not pick up chopped watermelons. How is this revolutionary? I can chop it, can't pick it. Made me mad. I did manage to get this ball in the hoop, though but the game did not reward me, which made me disappointed. But the best thing that happened to me in this game is that you're at this one part where you have to get the key from the top of a fountain, but my body kept glitching out when I tried to climb it, and the key seemed to be stuck when I tried to grab it with my hand, so I tried to force grab the key, but it broke just every bone, broke every bones in my fingers. So I thought if the game was gonna be tricky dicky, I'll be a little bit for doo nagle. So I went over to the microtransaction store and got myself a bat to try and beat the hell out of that key and sure enough. Look at that. It worked. All in all, Bone Works by Stress Level Zero gets a 4 out of 10. I Let's get back on track. Come on, man. I wanna thank every single one of you for fifth what the f 51,000 subscribers now, hey. Just because of that, let's end this video on some unused Sea of Thieves moments I had in storage for a long time that I just could not find a place for it in a regular video. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy. Barrel Roulette! And we won. I'm going to man gag it. Hey. Oh. 
helst i helvete! Someone with the Athena galleons are the worst ships. Why is that? Oh, I hear someone swimming. Where you at? Come on, don't be shy. There you are. I heard you breathing. You gonna come up the ladder? Oh, okay, you're on the ladder now. Come on up. Um, co come on up. You can come up now. What? Okay, are you? There you are. Okay, Jesus Christ. All right, let's get back to it. Hit. Hey. They added this obstacle course where, you, where they teach you how to jump. This is a good addition. Best addition yet to the game. Whoa. Oh. 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 I got this. Oh, a oh, wolf. Oh, <laughs> you poor thing. Man, he sucks at jumping. <laughs> you down? Okay. Ah, he's okay. Hey, hey, he's easy. Hey, there we go. You see, you just gotta learn how to use the space bar properly, or a button if you're on a controller. Got resources here? No. Who? Oh, tricky dicky. There you go. Use that little ledge. Um, is that even possible? Okay. Okay. Oh. 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 Yeah, this is easy. Um, now, now this one. This one is more impossible. Now I gotta, I gotta, this gotta be, is this doable? You can do it, Wolf. You come on, you can do it. Come on. There you go. Nope. <laughs> Okay, watch me get this ladder, Wolf. It's gonna be easy. Ah, uh, what? It, uh, you son of a- Okay, so that was a tricky dicky jump. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so I know how to do this now. What you gotta do is sword dash. That's the trick. That's the trick. Wow, and grab and fall. Okay. I was going the wrong way around. This is where you start. Oh, now it makes sense. There we go. Now my, my confidence is boosted dramatically. Oh, not risking it. What? Could be a tricky dicky ledge. Could trick you. You could slide right off. Better save it with the sword dash. Yeah. Yeah, this is more like it. This is more like it. I feel safer up here. See it? Oh, that's the bell. That's the bell. Did it. Alright. Let's continue. Huh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now we're getting into it. Now we're getting into it. Huh. Eh, nope, not gonna risk that. Sword dash for safety. And eh, here we go. Oh! Alright, we good. And this is now, now this is more doable from this side. Just gonna save it with the sword dash though, cause it always works. There we go. Nice. And eh, another sword dash. And eh, there we go. You son of a mother You guys should stop chasing us. We don't got no loot. You guys have any loot? Ooh. There you go. Oh, dodging. Dodging. Oh. <laughs> Alright, coming back. Bah. And there you go. Simple as that. We know you're hiding in there, dude. Oh, let me tease him out. There you go. Come on. You got the chest. There you are. There you are. There you go. Oh. 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 I was bad on mine. Oh, he's panicking. He's panicking. Oh. What? Okay, thank you for that, Wolf. That was my kill. Did you guys see your Sea of Thieves year in review? You can go to seeofthieves.com slash year review to check out yours. Mine says that I've eaten 4,646 pieces of fruit. I've sunk 893 other player ships. Thought it would be more. Only vomited 21 times. Nice. Encountered Megan 217 times. None of them the Shrouded Ghost. Handed in 2,279 chests. But then it says I have earned 6,080,135 gold. And since it says earned, does it count stealing as earning? Could I theoretically figure out how much coins I've stolen in 2019? Or most likely how much their tracking system is off? But let's humor ourselves. So the earliest evidence I have of how much money I had at the beginning of the year is from Sea of Party Poopers, where I can see that I had 9,970,593 gold. As of making this video, I have 17,028,883 gold. <laughs> 
clash those two numbers into each other with a dash of minus and it comes out to 7,055,290 gold clash that with the year of review number and some minus math and i have stolen a total of 975,155 gold mm, that number seems low to me it might be correct but probably not Never mind that, let's end this 50k special with me telling you about the time I encountered a cheater in Sea of Thieves. Welcome back to Caught Cheating. December 16th, 2019. Wolf and I just arrived at the Fort of the Damned. Someone had just finished it. As you can see in this footage, we had just sunk the brigantine that was there. At this point in time, my partner in crime Wolf was on the fort disposing of the nukes. He had earlier informed me that there was a legendary chest aboard the brigantine we just sunk. I went to harpoon it, but instead, I caught. A cheater. Just watch the footage now and judge for yourself. Watch as he goes to our cannon supplies and takes our fire bottles and starts plumbing them around him. He does not care about the fire. Also note that he has yet to eat anything. Notice his poor skill level here. Being a cheater, your skills never improve. This individual's inner pro gamer soul will never have a chance to exist. Unfortunately, the recording software did not catch what happened after this. But I can tell you the mindset of me and Wolf at this point. If we can't kill the cheater, we can try and outsmart him. When his friends on the brigantine came back, they only took the Athena's chest and ran away. We recovered everything else. We obviously reported him and I continued to monitor his Xbox profile to see if he would get banned. At the point of publishing this video, he is still active on the Sea of Thieves. Rare, please fix.